Well, hello, my beautiful friends, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on today's video. Today, I'll be sharing my update for the Nightmare on Pennant Street for 2022. I joined it on March. I had my first intro on March, but this runs from October 31st, 2021 to October 31st, 2022. I love everything fall and Halloween. I have dubbed myself the Halloween queen. I wish it was Halloween all year long. So when I saw this, I was like, should I join in? I kind of found this group. Um, it is a fantastic ladies collab. And I did find this group on Facebook around the end of January, beginning of February. So that's when I found all these projects. And I was like, you know what, let me just join in. So it is monthly updates. It is created by Jaylon and Valerie. And it is a rolling style project. You can do... Um, Six or 13. I chose 13 because that's my favorite number. Six and 13, my favorite number. But I was like, let me challenge myself and do 13. So I wish I would have done six, but it's perfectly okay. But if you want to see my updates, I do have some rollouts. So I do have some rollouts. So we'll be rolling new things in. And if you want to see my update and my progress on everything that's in this project, then go ahead and keep on watching. Alrighty, my beautiful friends. This is a year long project, but I did join in on March. So we have monthly updates. It is roulette style and rolling or roulette style. I want to hit all the prompts because I am late to the game. And if I hit all of them before the update, then I'll just kind of start over. But I want to hit all of them to make sure I go through all of them. That's how I've been doing it. Um, so let's go ahead and get on into it. The first one was the grudge. It is an item that you wish you hadn't purchased. And at that time, I wish I hadn't purchased this It Bye Bye Powder, Translucent Powder. Um, I was using it with a sponge and baking it so I would have a terrible white cast. It was pretty cakey. It is finely milled. So when I figured out how to use it through this project, I fell in love with it. So I would repurchase it. Um, I used this 11 times. The first time, 7, only 2 after that. And then only two after that, so 11. So I do have two more uses. I know I can hit my goal by next month. I actually kind of forgot about this one. So this will be rolled out next time. And then next is a Franken product. I didn't know what that meant. I thought it was like reviving a product or, you know, if something breaks, you know, putting it back together. But it's actually putting like a shadow, two different shadows together, a highlight and a blush to create a glowy highlight highlight and a bronzer to make a glowy bronzer I didn't know that was a thing <laughs> so I picked my identity 2 palette that I got in box and it came busted this shadow was broken so I repressed it so that's how I picked my Franken but um the first time I used it six times and only once and I've used it twice it is what is on my eyes two days so I'm at nine so I do have four more uses to go and I do want to get this rolled out by next month I do love this I do feel like it's fall so I will be busting this out in the fall or putting it into a fall project but um I did start pan that palette and I don't want to put any more palettes into projects anymore this one I have three in I believe and another one most of them have two in so I don't know what my deal is I just got excited but I was putting like 13 use 15 use goals on them and I shouldn't have done that. I should have done, done no pan left behind, but that's okay. We are going to hit my goals and then we're going to not put any palettes into projects because I am doing pan that palette. I will leave that link down below, but my pan that palette, I'm doing every other month updates just so I can roll out these in time and then start focusing on that. So that's my goal with that. Next, I drew a nightmare on Elm Street. It is a dupe for a product that you dream about. Well, I've always wanted a big mothership pat mcgrath i was gonna pull the trigger they had 50 percent off but i don't know what happened i lost track of time it was like two minutes later and i lost the sale so i was very pissed off at myself so i picked this cult mania bad habit i believe it is a dupe for the subversion or the sublime palette um it all my goals were 13 uses um, I use it three times and then use it once and then I haven't used it any time. So I've only used this four times. I need to jump on the ball. I kind of forget it, but I do have a lot of palettes in projects. So that is why I believe this will be in here for another two months. Hopefully not, but I believe two months. So we need to jump on the ball with the palettes. This is a rollout. 
So it was Dracula. It is a product that sucks the life out of you. Well, this, I chose the Estee Lauder Double Wear. First of all, it is matte and it is super, super light for me. This is my winter shade. I didn't know how I felt about this. I didn't really care for it. I was like, mm, it's just okay. I don't know what the rave is all about. I love this one now. So my progress has gone down to there and I have used it my 13 times. I used it twice before and then I fell in love with it. So I used it seven more times for nine and then I use it four more times to hit my goal on 621. So I'll be rolling this guy out and I do love it. I do want to find my summer shade. I have found it. I just need to purchase it. So I need to, I love this one, but that's why I love these projects because there's two products. Well, probably three products, but no four actually, no three that I didn't know that I liked. I was like, let me just let me just use them if I don't like them all declutter them. That's kind of how I'm doing this and also to shuffle through them. I didn't care for this, but I was like, let me use it those times and see how many times, see how I feel about it at the very end. And I love this. I want to purchase my, my summer shade. So one rollout. Next is Paranormal Activity, an item that never seems to disappear. Blushes and especially baked blushes never seem to disappear. So I picked this e.l.f. I actually broke it. I have a video of packaging that I broke but I do have this on today layered with some other things um I've only used this eight times the first time four then two and then two so eight so I have five more uses to go on this guy and I will be rolling this out next month so I have to hit my goal by next month I always feel like I'm doing good and then when I'm doing the updates I was like I thought I used that more so we need to jump on the ball Erica it is, the next is Alien, something that is one of a kind in Alien in your collection. I have a quite a large collection, so there's not too many. There is some unique things, but this is the only thing that I have about it, have in my collection. is a Revolution Baking Oil. It is a baking oil you put on your eyes, so that way that it doesn't look really powdery or anything like that. I like to use a lot of powders. I am an oily gal, and I do live in Texas. It's like 100 something degrees here, and I put a 30 use goal. And I used it 12 times, and then I used it only six, and then I used it the following 12 to finish it on 618. And then this was my first marking up here. Can you see it? Did it rub off? But it's very, it's it's going to take me a lifetime to go through this. I didn't think it would be so slow. Let me go ahead and mark it so you can see. So the first time, I didn't even get to mark it, and then I, it's barely a mark. And I did put it on today, and I have used it past my 30 times. So this stays on here on my desk. Because I want to use this up, you know, it wasn't very expensive, but this will be like a lifetime goal because this is, maybe I should put that in a project next, like a never ending because that is never ending, never, never ending. So that is two rollouts. The next thing I drew is Scream. It is an item that makes you want to scream with delight. And I chose the at Odin's Eye Hella Palette. This is so beautiful. I didn't use it. I was using it a lot because I was so excited and I didn't get to use it. But I, I was so happy and so proud of Angelica for creating this palette with Odin's Eye. I got to finally try Odin's Eye and I've ordered some other stuff from them. So I do love this. And I've used it three times the first, once after that, and then no times after that, so forth. So just, just like the Bad Habit. I need to jump on the ball with this one. So I feel like this will be in here about two more months. It is very beautiful summer. I need to jump on the ball. I don't dislike any of these palettes. It's just I have to rotate through my projects. I don't know why I did that to myself. Next is Rosemary's Baby, a newer item in your collection. And at that time, it was a lipstick that I have on today. It is from Milani. It is Orange Gina. And it smells wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So that is, let me, let me get a better swatch because I swatched over something. That is what it is today. I do have it on my lips today. Um, I, my goal was 13 uses. First I used it three, then I used it three. I've only used it once this month, which was today, so seven. So I have six more uses on this guy. Hopefully I can roll it out next time. Next was A Quiet Place, a product that makes you speechless. So this always perfects my imperfections. If I get a rub on my nose, I just take this. This actually sits on my desk. I travel with it, so I put it in a little net, and I do it like this, and it just fixes every single thing. Um, this is a powder foundation, so I don't use it all the time. I kind of use it as a fixer, 
Um, maybe I'll try it as a powder foundation to kind of get some use out of it. It is nearing the end, but I adore this one. And I actually need to check my collection to see if I have a backup. If not, I need to order one soon. So my goal, my goal is to use it up, but I did do 13 times because I use very, very little each time that I use this, like I said, because I just do a touch up and that is it. So the first time I use it five, then I use it four, and then I use it five more times for a total of 13, and I hit my goal on 619. So this will be rolling out as well. So that is three rollouts. Next is Halloween, and it is a set of sheet masks or a deluxe size mask, and I chose these brightening sheet masks. The rest are downstairs. I normally bring them up, but I didn't this time. I've only used two out of the eight. The first time I used three, this time I used two, so I only have, I have three more to go for a total of eight. That was the pack that it was, so um, three more. I know I could hit my goal by next month. And then at the same time was Poltergeist. It is something that is always here, a must-have in your makeup collection or your makeup routine or skincare routine. I always set with setting powder when I powder down and at the very end to lock everything into place. So I chose this Pure Miracle Mist. It is one of my favorites, but look how large this thing is. This was that and this was after 13 uses. Um, the first time I used it nine, then I used it four for a total of 13 and I hit my goal on six, nine. So I hit it quite some time ago. So this will be the third rollout. No, the fourth rollout, I'm on a roll. But the last two, not so much. Then I drew it, and it is a product that is scary as shit to pan. I have not used this, but look at this. This will be scary as shit to pan because it's so bright and so poppy. It is a bright as pink, which I absolutely love it. I may have worn, I should have worn it today, but I forgot. So no uses on this guy. This will probably be two months, maybe possibly three. And then last was the ring, an item you want to expose the ring on, and I just chose this Aesthetica bronzer. It is a bronzer that I have today. And I only use it once, which is today. I kind of forgot about it. But I, I do like it. I didn't know how I felt about it because I was like, I don't want to use it. I have some other stuff and products that I want to use. It's like, I don't want to use it. But I feel like I can hit my goal by next month. So next month, I would like to see these three rolled out. So hopefully, we can have three rollouts next month. I'm going to put all the prompts that I do not have already used into a spinny wheel. And I will spin four and we will pick some products out. Alrighty, I haven't used, or I haven't hit 23 of the 40 prompts. Maybe, yes, 23. I haven't done 23 prompts, so they are all in a wheel. Let me do apply wheel changes, and we have four to draw. Woohoo! I'm super excited, super excited, super excited. They're all in here. My wheel kind of goes slow, so I'll probably pause it. Alrighty, it's finishing up and it's landing on get out. So, oh, get out. Let me go see what the prompt is for get out. It is a product you want to get out of your collection. Hmm. Okay, let me think and I'll be right back. All right, so I do have a box of like older products, not necessarily things that I hate, but just older products that I want to show some love to. And this is probably close to expiring, so I definitely want to get use out of this. It is tan, so it is darker, so it should be great for me right now. Um, I'm not too sure if I can hit my 13 uses or use this up, but I definitely want to try. So 13 uses or use up, whichever comes first on this guy. And I always take that one out, so I'm going to take out, get out, and then apply will changes, so that way I don't draw the same one over and over. So apply will changes and we're going to spin it and see what we get. And it landed on us. So we are gonna see what us is. Us is an item that is a dupe. Okay, cool. Let me pick something I'll be right back. All right, that was easy. This is supposed to be a dupe for the um, Tarte Shape Tape and I, it's in that box as well. And it is just super light for me. And I have um, in my project graveyard, I will leave that link down below. I have another one that is darker. I'll just swatch that one for you. This is in my project graveyard. And I can actually mix the two to make a great combo. So I'll be using this. So I might not use it all up, but I will definitely use this 13 times. 
and this light peach um i do like it it's just super light for me and especially right now so i'm on base products base products are great so let's go ahead and remove us and roll it or spin it one more time us and apply wheel changes and go ahead and spin already dr jekyll and mr hyde um i think what i'm saying is a duo a duo or a double ended product all righty cool let me go ahead and look in my box and look everywhere else and i'll be right back all righty so i am in the process of still the process of listing all my makeup i have all my drugstore drawer all my drugstore tower i'm working on my high end so i picked something from my drugstore but it is a city color um glow duo it is a cream and a powder and i don't remember using this i don't know how i feel about this and that is the swatch it is so creamy and it is very pretty maybe i can use it as an eyeshadow base as well and that is really cream highlighters but we shall see um and it's either side honestly i want to definitely dip into each five times so i want to use them together if not i can just dip into one so 13 uses on this guy as all my goals are let's go ahead and remove dr jekyll i've never seen that movie I haven't seen a lot of these movies and I want to watch them. Apply wheel changes and spin. Alrighty, the last roll in is Christine and I've never seen that movie. I did see it on Hulu so maybe I'll watch that. An item you made a special trip to the store to purchase. Well, I've done a lot of those. <laughs> Let me go ahead and think and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so at one point I was on this hunt for every shade of these. Um, I was vlogging it and then I didn't and then I think I had to order to online. It had been some time. I deleted the footage, so it's okay. So this is long, <laughs> short story long. Um, this is the Milani lipstick in secret and I went to several stores hunting high and low for these. I figured this is a great like springy it's summertime now but oh cute for the summertime let me go ahead and open it and swatch it make sure i think it's summer appropriate the packaging is beautiful this might be a nudie that's pretty that can go with a lot of things so 13 uses on this guy and it's nude it goes with every single thing and i do love and enjoy this formula and I always make special trips to the stores. A lot of my eyeshadow palettes, but I am not putting any eyeshadow products in this. I did very great. I'm trying to do lip and base. And we have 13 uses, 13 uses to finish up, 13 uses, and then 13 uses. But make sure I use both sides, not just 13 in one. So these are the new roll-ins for this month. I'm super excited. Um, this I've been wanting to finish up. I don't know why I haven't been reaching for it but i know that i can finish this up soon um this is just too light so i can use it up by mixing it with that one and if i hit my 13 uses i might roll this into another project or something because i want to use up that one my halloween and halloween is when this one ends as well so maybe i'll keep it in to see what i can use up out of it i'm not too sure but i'm super excited for my roll-ins and i stayed strong and did not roll in the palette i was going to pull a bh cosmetics palette Right now, I was like, no, 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 Erica, no palettes, no palettes, no palettes. You have three in this one. You have Pat Matte Palette, which has two. You, two uh, several other projects have two palettes. So I have to calm down on the palettes in projects if I want to stick with my Pat Matte Palette series, which I absolutely love. So thank you all my beautiful, wonderful friends for joining me in this update for the, for the Nightmare on Panning Street for 2022. And if this one comes around again, I definitely will do it. I love everything Halloween. And thank you, Jaylon and Valerie, for creating this super fun project. And I hope it continues to be in the shuffle of projects. <laughs> but thank you very much for joining me in this video. And I, look and I look forward to watching everyone's update. This one is the 30th. Today is the 30th. So I am one day ahead of schedule to film and get it uploaded. And you will probably see this the first or the second, I think you'll see this July 2nd, because I have two more videos to get up before then, so. What's today, the 30th? You'll see this on the 3rd. <laughs> I, I was so behind on my schedule last month, or this past week, 
it's been kind of crazy and I did track how many times I've used makeup so in the full month of June I've used a full face 12 times and then a partial face right here for work six times so that's not not very good but I am going to track July's as well so I can just show you and that's just how I do it but thank you all my beautiful wonderful friends for joining me in this video hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one bye guys love you all